feel like this is like survivor diary entry 45. I'm almost like a human. Yeah. A human with a small knife in my lung. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. It's a rainy day outside, but it's not rainy in our hearts. <laughs> uh, we are actually getting ready to go out the door into the rain to go get blood work. Um, yesterday, Mary noticed that her st across her stomach, she was starting to get like these... You know what it looks like, and I think what it actually is, is the marks you get whenever you throw up on your face. Like little bruising in the skin, <clears throat> like, um, so it looks like her stomach looks real splotchy, and we're wondering and figuring that it's because of her <coughs> blood counts having dropped and her platelets being low. So we want to follow up on it. We emailed with her team, and... I like sent a picture of my abdomen to my team and they were like, could you go get blood work? Which is what we were already thinking. So yeah. it just kind of confirmed that we need to go just get an eye on things and make sure. Cause um, we would, we would be hoping that her platelets would be coming up by now. And so if they aren't, uh, that's not good. No. So we're going to go do that. We'll probably pick up some lunch and. Yep. So. Um, the lung pain is still there from yeah. before we left the hospital, but which is over pretty unusual for Mary to have a lung pain that, like, not to that she has lung pain, but that it lasts this long. Yeah, and I haven't had lung pain in a long time, hmm. so I don't understand. But my overall day today so far, I think it feels a little easier than yesterday. Good. <clears throat> I mean, I just walked to the kitchen and then I obviously sat on the stairs and had a huge coughing fit, but I feel like I'm more emotive. Like I have more energy to like be me. That's good. And that could be blood counts maybe coming up. I don't know. But all right, we're going to hop in the car. Did you hear me say that? We need to go get in the car. We need to go get in the car. All right, let's go. Before we drive away, I want to show you guys something. When we got back from the hospital, it was dark out, but I could see a little yellow face staring back at me. See that yellow flower amidst all the deadness of the tomato plants? It's in the ground, it's not in the tomato buckets, but it just randomly grew and it is just amazing. And some of my flowers are still happy, especially that one. All right, Operation Blood done. Blood done. And now we are going to Chick-fil-A. I'm so excited. I haven't had Chick-fil-A since weeks ago. And so that's what we're doing. It's quite raining, quite a lot, quite pouring. <laughs> and I feel like it's so good for the ground because we haven't had a lot of rain. Although, other parts of the country, it's the opposite. So, anyway, we, I don't think we'll be going into Chick-fil-A because I don't feel like I'm that good, but eating Chick-fil-A in the car sounds amazing. Wow, that was a- Police truck. A truck, that was a police car. But, all right, that's what we're doing. <laughs> the sign says they're out of Chick-fil-A sauce and we were so sad and so when we placed our order we said so you don't have Chick-fil-A and he said no we do and I was like you want us to take the sign down and he said and he laughed and he was like yeah that'd be great so we're just gonna return their sign to them hopefully they are out of other things that you didn't know that sign was supposed to be up there <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was funny I love how they highlighted including Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce. They knew how angry the customers no. would be. <laughs> oh man. So I wonder if styrofoam cup companies 
had to lay people off because everybody's rejecting styrofoam because of how bad it is. But I guess they could just go work for a paper cup company. What? Very thoughtful of you. I mean, it's reality. I don't know. I feel like there's plenty of styrofoam cups still in the world, but maybe you, know, you have a point, though. These are the things we talk about on our dates. I'm almost like a human. A human with a small knife in my lung. <laughs> my body might be broken, but my smile always works. My smile always works. Except when it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but I thought I would try to show you the little weird spots we were talking about. I have no idea if you can see it in this lighting. It's like little speckles. Yeah, basically it looks really splotchy and yeah. her stomach doesn't look like that. In some lighting you can see it better. It's definitely, got, I think, more prominent today. Yeah, it was like barely there yesterday afternoon. Um, I don't know, my stomach was itching or something, so I looked down at it. And I was like, oh, that's weird. It kind of looks splotchy. The itching wasn't related to it though. And then by last night, it had kind of spread and it's like a little bit on my legs and on my back a little bit, but mostly just on the like front of my abdomen. And Peter was thinking, I wonder if it's from like coughing, like because that like your torso is like constricting so much. Maybe it's like causing blood vessels to pop or something. Who knows? I don't know, but I guess we'll probably in an hour or so be able to log in online and look at our blood work. Recently we've been driving, it's like 45 minutes to the nearest satellite location for Mary's Hospital. It's, it's like 15 minutes closer than actually going to Mary's Hospital. But uh, it's like not downtown Boston. Yeah, so, but we, whenever she's on IVs or like right now, we want to know, is there something going on with her blood work that we need to respond to? It's just a whole lot easier to go to a blood work place that's in her hospital system. So we don't have to deal with waiting for the facts to come and how long the blood results are going to take and we dealt with that when she was we went to a local hospital that's like a big hospital near us when she was on ivs but it took <coughs> over 24 hours to get the results and by that point her kidneys had been damaged so anyways that's why we had a long longer of a drive today but I think we're gonna head head back home. Okay, I feel like this is like Survivor Diary entry 45. It's still raining out, and now I'm thoroughly exhausted from our trip. But I need to make it. I need to make it alive from here to the front door. Okay, let's do this. Working on doing some stuff around the house like getting the kitchen clean and Mary is upstairs. I think she's going through for getting out some winter clothes because it is getting cold. We had the heat on for a little bit tonight and winter is coming which is crazy because I don't know it always feels like seasons come and go so fast but she's working on going through some of our clothes and finding clothes to get rid of and then she was like I, I really want to get rid of some clothes because I don't wear them and I was like well why don't you like not waste your energy on that right now like there's bigger battles in life right now like your health and all that that we need to focus on she's like but this is a battle that I can actually control so that's what she's working on and we did get her blood work we were able to go on line on the portal and see that 
her platelets are actually coming up. They've uh, they've come up quite a bit from, I guess the last time we checked them was the day that Mary left the hospital. So that is both so good. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was two days ago. Okay, that is, that is good. Uh, but it's also weird because it, it doesn't give an explanation for these weird splotches on Mary's stomach. And so, I don't know, I guess we'll just keep an eye on it and see if it gets any worse or what that might be. I, really... I was really surprised to see my kidney numbers. Yeah, Mary's kidney numbers bumped up and so that's not good. We were pumping her with fluids while she was in the hospital, like getting boluses of hydration and she was on 24 seven, like a slow amount of uh, fluids. And so she's been working really hard to get in enough drinking since we've been home, but it's... It's either not enough liquid or, or her kidneys. kidneys haven't fully recovered and so it's harder for them. They need more than the average bear. So So we got out the uh so <laughs> when we bought a little camelback backpack for my feeding tube, um I don't we, we just got it to be a carrier for Mary's tube pump and we took the bladder out of it. Because it came with this bladder. So it's been st sitting in a drawer ever since we got it. And Mary's like, maybe I should get that out and keep myself hydrated. Is it working? <laughs> Does it taste like, like, plastic? Ew. It tastes, ew. It tastes really bad. Yeah. I'm sure if you're, like, running a marathon, it tastes amazing. But <gasps> Do you know what this tastes like? What? When I was in like seventh grade, I bought myself this teeny tiny water cooler. Do you, know, you know when you're at an office and they have the like white water cooler with the blue? Um, oh, the like glug glug. Yeah, glug, yeah, glug, 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 glug. yeah. Um, you got I bought myself a teeny tiny one like this big. Did it work? It worked. Oh yeah, it totally worked. But it tasted like it tasted like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And mind over matter, I was like. It's so cute that I don't care about the taste, but ultimately, I did care about the taste. Mm. But, um... I'm glad Mary's a little perkier today, and <laughs> uh, her smile is definitely working. If you guys missed yesterday's vlog, uh, that's our new design. My body may be broken, but my smile always works. And we also have new... Um, sweatshirts available for like the I Choose Joy, Overcomer, Gratitude, all of those. And it's been so fun to see what you guys are choosing um, as the orders have come in. And I can't wait for you guys to get those shirts yeah. and sweatshirts and all the fun things. But thanks for coming on our day today and getting blood drawn with us and all the things. And as, as always, always, we I'll will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh, Ollie oh boy. I'm gonna say goodnight and show them your cute rain curls. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.